Hello, this is David Bishai speaking from the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. And today I'm going to describe our proposal to strengthen public health practice in Angola. I'll be introducing the concept, talking about next steps, and going through an action plan. The origins of this concept come from an AFRO document that was published in 2003. The first author was Dr. Luis Sambo, assisted by his colleagues Totora and Gusen, all of whom were at AFRO. This document outlined a method to improve the performance of district health management teams by engaging them in a self-assessment exercise. The DHMTs were going to use tools to help themselves find gaps in their performance and plan quality improvement exercises on a continuous basis. The document outlined a role for national ministries of health in adapting the tools to each country. And then once the tools were developed, they would be pilot tested and used to train assessment teams that would go out to the districts. The role for the districts was to become engaged in self-assessing their performance, using the results of the assessment for analysis and deriving an action plan for performance improvement. This is an idea whose time has come. Unfortunately, there have been many crises in Africa that have impeded the ability of many countries to roll out the proposal for performance strengthening at districts. But now the time has come for this idea to be put into practice. Pandemics and epidemic preparedness relies on district strength. It is even more timely because the World Health Assembly has been looking for ways to become more engaged in the progress occurring in regional and country offices in improving district performance, especially around improving the essential public health functions. And it just turns out that the Johns Hopkins team has experienced marrying the idea of district self-assessment to improvement in essential public health practice. Between 2012 and 2014, our team was in Mozambique, working with the National Institute of Public Health, doing exactly this project of developing self-assessment tools that made sense for Mozambique, putting them into Portuguese, and then developing strength by the National Institute in, through training to go and help districts self-assess their performance. Right now, Angola uh, has a window of opportunity because USAID's country office is supporting both Johns Hopkins and Theo Cruz universities to provide technical assistance in strengthening districts and public health practice in Angola. Our plan would be just as outlined by the, the AFRO document of 2003 to adapt self-assessment tools for Angola, to develop pilot tests of these tools in districts in Angola, and to train an assessment team uh, staffed by Angolans to scale these activities up throughout the country. USAID has offered support for the logistics required for these activities. USAID will support venues and local transport and the per diems required for participants and stakeholders. USAID would provide support for a local Angolan Ministry of Health team lead to be engaged in these activities. The team is ready to go to work. We are bilingual, speaking both English and Portuguese, and we have experience in self-assessment. However, the window will close on August 31st when the grant ends and we can no longer work in the country. The next steps would be to schedule a workshop for Angolan stakeholders to develop a consensus on what needs to be measured in practice at districts. We would adapt a performance measurement tool for Angola, pilot test the tool, and then train district health assessment evaluators. I look forward to discussing this further, either by telephone, in person, or by email. Thank you very much.